Introductions, um, Gary and Evie. We're from Anglia Ruskin University. We're not your teachers, all right? We're here to, to try and give you, uh, if you like, an experience of hands-on with some spectroscopy equipment. The fact that the Royal Society of Chemistry can bring in this equipment for a day and let our students use it is really, really valuable. Well, I think what the students have benefited most from today was to have experience trying to solve the analytical type problems that the chemists would have in the laboratory. So they were given unknown samples and they had to try and figure out using the uh, spectral data which was available to them which compounds that they actually had. So I think that was something which challenged them more. I think that the, the topics that they were covering today were really helpful because they are the sorts of subjects that students are interested in, the forensic science type of analytical work, are things that they are interested in and that will encourage them to go into science in the future. I think what they mainly enjoy is talking to people about chemistry outside of the sort of formal framework they normally do. So they get to meet people that, are, that have chosen to engage with chemistry and who enjoy chemistry, that know what they're doing. I think the enthusiasm comes over. Today uh, I got the chance to get a bit of a feel for the equipment that people would use when studying PhD in chemistry. So that was quite a bit of an eye-opener. It was a good experience for me. I thought it was really fascinating to see the um, infrared spectroscopy in action because normally we don't have access to those sort of machines. Yeah, I thought it was, um, it was pretty impressive. I enjoyed getting print out so we could keep it, refer back to it if we needed to look back on perhaps like revision notes or anything like that. When we first started doing this, we predicted it would be one compound. Now we've done some research into this, we can actually decide that it's actually not always the case. And that's why it's important to investigate these sort of things.